It's Mother's Day morning. Um, I am up in bed and anyways, the funny part is, is Amber stayed the night because it was late and we wanted, the kids were begging and so we said yes. <laughs> so luckily Austin isn't here to sleep in a bed. So Jake, um, we got a bed all set up and we borrowed a playpen and she stayed the night. It was great. And the baby did pretty well considering. I can smell Jake cooking breakfast so I think it would probably be rude of me to go downstairs when usually they want to bring it up to me so I will sit here and wait it's the first time trying them these are for strawberry shortcake yep. and Jake is beating the heck out of chicken because because I'm recreating the meal that I made for her when, before we were married, the first time we spent Mother's Day together. It's chicken cordon bleu. It is chicken cordon bleu. Strawberry shortcake. And salad. And salad. So I'll tell you the story so that you guys kind of know. But when Jake and I were dating, I had the boys. Um, and I had shared a story with Jake that was about... Um, anyways, when... When I had Curtis, I was uh, 18. Yes, I know, I was a baby. Anyway, um, when Mother's came around, Mother's Day came around, the boys' dad did not get me anything for Mother's Day. His, his mom said, hey, would you get your wife for Mother's Day? And he said, I didn't get her anything. She's not my mother. Yeah, real winner. Anyway, so at some point when we were dating, I shared that story with Jake. And so, when Mother's Day came around, he invited me over because anyway, I says, uh, I'm not your mother though. And he's like, that's all right, or whatever. Um, did, were we planning on getting married yet? I don't know that we I think were we were talking about it. I don't think we had dates or anything. No. Um, so anyway, I went over there and over to Jake's apartment and he had, he did not make them homemade, but he got cordon blues, which is, um, chicken cordon bleu is my favorite. Um, I would say it still is. It's probably one of my favorites. But anyways, so Jake bought the Costco cordon bleus or whatever you can get in the grocery store. Yeah, I got the free bacon. And I baked them. But I did do everything else. I made the salad from scratch. I made... Strawberry shortcake. I bought the shortcake, but I but I sliced Made the, the strawberry strawberries stuff. all by myself because I don't I don't like pie filling strawberries. I like strawberries freshly sliced. Sprinkle a little bit of sugar over them and let them sit overnight mm -hmm. if you can, and then it creates its own juice because they weep or sweat. They weep because they were sliced, cut, and they cry. Cause it hurt. Just joking. Um, so, anyways. <laughs> So a little different is Jake has actually, um, he probably cooks probably, I would say he cooks so much better now than he did when we were dating, number one. I'm sure he did, I'm sure I do. He probably could have done it then, but I think he was just trying to. It was kind of a last minute. Last minute thing that he did and I'm grateful for, but when he said, when he told me what he was doing, I'm just kind of, kind of excited. Because I know that he wasn't going to buy those packaged cordon blues, which those sometimes are good, but it's like... But th this is the best part. The best part is, is that when I told her I was making her dinner the first time, when we were first dating, she goes, but I'm not your mom. Because that's what I was told the first time. And I'm not oh, his mom. I think you already said that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but obviously we'd been talking a little bit. Just a little bit. I was going to be his future ki his future kids' mom, so I guess he felt obligated. Obligated. <laughs> That's the word, obligated. Did you feel obligated? Totally obligated. Oh, he makes me so happy. I love food. I love good food. Do you like good food? I do. 
I like the food you make. Thanks. <laughs> I better, huh? I hope so. The kids do too. In fact, when Jake finally got home, they're like, cool, we get to eat real food now. I hate cooking. <laughs> yeah, they, they even said it on the vlog a couple times. <laughs> I hate cooking. I can cook, I just hate it. That's mustard. Did you find a recipe or are you just doing this? Yeah, I, did, I got, a, got a recipe. But this is traditionally how you make it. That's a big one. Oh, they're big. They're huge. I'm not gonna argue. That's amazing right there. Wow. Oh, we don't have toothpicks either. Do we? Happy Mother's Day. I feel a helium vlog coming on. Uh -oh. <laughs> Mom, you rock. Look how cute. There's nothing in this box. Looks are very deceiving. <laughs> See? I think it's just, oh, it's hollow. It's hollow. It's, I think it's just to hold the... It's uh, just a weight. Hold the balloon. It's cute, though. And then some flowers. <coughs> oh, they're... Flower food. Flower food. They're obviously <laughs> needing it. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to put them in the water. They should probably put them in water. There's a vase on my dresser. And then there's... I got those, too, because I thought the other ones, I thought those were a really cool it's color. drink it well they don't smell good but they They're look pretty. cool mm -hmm. I think they smell good. And what'd you have for dinner I had my cordon bleu and an awesome salad she had her first Mother's Day dinner recreated but it was from scratch as you guys saw earlier yeah super good I scratched it and I didn't even vlog it I'm sorry I should have vlogged no, the I vlogged some of it. final it's well, if you want to see the final, you'll have to wait until one of us goes to the bathroom. Gross. <laughs> Thank you for a good Mother's Day. Of course. I love you very much. I love you too. But we will have to go shopping for a Mother's Day gift, a real one, since I was interrupted this whole weekend with other crap. Because we're moving. Yeah. The moving is just starting to get crazy, because this week we have to get a dumpster and... The chaos really begins this week, but yeah, it it's okay. <coughs> Mother's Days are not always the best, so it's good to have a relax, relaxed Mother's Day with good food. Hello, people. We're making strawberry shortcake. Uh, whose is this one? Tell me how it tastes. Mm -hmm. well, whose is this one, Dad? This is yours, Theron. <laughs> I don't want that much. So okay, I won't put any more on. I want extra eggs. There you go. They're good! Give me these. What is the shortcake? It's actually, every recipe that I've found has been doing a biscuit. Yeah, that's good. So. Is that a different kind of biscuit? It's a buttermilk biscuit with extra sugar added into the batter to make it a sweet one. Use your fork, Theron. You just cut it like a... And good company. <laughs> I'm wearing your shirt. Right? I know. You realize this? Yes, you do that quite often. Where am I? She I wears did it my a lot clothes. When you were gone, so I just quite kinda... often. She wears your shirt very like often. Every day. Yeah, wear it's your clothes a lot. It's very likely that I will not have any clean t-shirts by the end of this week. Either I need some new shirts, or you need some new shirts. <laughs> the problem with her working at home now is the fact that she literally goes into the office with a top on but leaves her bottoms 
<laughs> off, except for her undies. Secret. Yeah. <laughs> Except I literally for her work in just a shirt and a blanket. A, a shirt and a blanket, pretty much. <laughs> for the first yeah, half isn't that nice? Yeah, and then part one of my one of my breaks, I take a shower and I actually get dressed. And half the time, it's because she's wearing my shirts, so I don't have shirts to wear when I come home to get grimy in. So maybe either you need shirts or I need Do I have shirts. something. I don't know. Read the directions. I get. I guess we'll see, right? Yes. Or maybe you don't want to see. How was your guys's? Mother's Day, what did you guys give or receive? Yeah, and do you have traditions? Yeah, what's that'd be your... something cool to find out if there's yeah, if there's what's traditions a Mother's Day and stuff tradition. Have. <gasps> I wanted to go visit my mom's grave. I got her flowers to put on her grave. Let's go. We can go tomorrow for a family home evening. Yeah, maybe maybe let's do that. I'm not on call tomorrow. Cool story. We'll have to go after I get off work. Yeah. Very good. Awesome. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching our vlog. We appreciate it. I hope and, it wasn't um, too prickly for you. Too thorny. <laughs> too thorny. <laughs> prickly. <laughs> Anyways, you guys have a good uh, rest of your weekend and um, or week or whenever you're watching this. And we'll see you guys next time. Stay liming and awesome. Bye. Bye.